Hello and welcome one and all. This video is the third in our journey to take you from a modding zero to a pal world hero. I'm gonna go over Altermatic, a uh, replacer framework by Michael P. Stanage. This one is intended to allow you to have multiple different appearances or meshes for a single pal that are chosen based on situation. So you could have a pal that is green if it has the fleet trait, or you could have a pal that has a uh, extra horn on its head if it's a male, and it has larger ears if it's a female. Those are examples. I don't know if meshes like those actually exist. I just made them up literally on the spot. So we're going to go ahead and install this bad boy. First thing, you're going to download it. You could get it off the Nexus or you could get it from his website. We're going to go in here, pop open the README. There's the website. There's the Discord. Blah, 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 blah. We're going to scroll right down to the installation instructions, which is what we care about right now. Once again, the game root folder. That is, if you're on Steam, this bad boy right here. This is the game root folder. Inside of that, we want to go to PAL, Content, and then Packs. So this is just like what we did for the um, Unipal UI mod. We're going to drag it all into here. We've got Altermatic right next to Unipal UI. Perfect. And then we've got our new mods folder. This is the next step. You enter the swap JSON folder and run this bat file. You're supposed to do this anytime you add new uh, meshes so that it adds them to the list to be loaded. Currently, we got a big fat zero number of mods to load. Since that's kind of boring and just loading the game and having it say Altermatics running is not very exciting, I went ahead and uh, grabbed this virtual pet site paintbrush variants Altermatic plugin by Lunabold. Scroll down here. This is all the information you need. This is where you want to install it to. Everybody phrases things a little bit differently. Anyways. This right here is the game root folder. And that means that they want it installed right into here. Cool. Let's pop this open. Based on the instructions on the Nexus, we just drag this into here. And it makes sense because notice the swap JSON. That merges perfectly with this. After that, as I said, you're going to have to run this to load all the new stuff in. I'm just going to pop up in my load list, confirm, yes, it does look different, and let's launch the game. Unlike with the uh, UE4SS and Unipal UI, I have actually progressed slightly in the save so that we can see something. I happen to know that this requires certain traits for your pals to have a different appearance, so I didn't want to be running around the world hoping I bumped into a pal with the right trait, so I just went and cat catched. Went and caught a few different lamb balls. So there's the first one I caught. And this one has some worker trait, which I know has a different appearance. So let's see what this bad boy looks like. Ooh. It's kind of a bluish color. It's got a gem on the front of it. Honestly, there's possibly more to it that I'm not seeing, but I'm just glancing at it. So we can see that that is working, and it's doing good. We can also check the Unipal UI and see, look at that, we got some Altermatic configuration stuff. Shift plus O to reroll a target's mesh. That is if there is a pal that could have multiple different skins, it'll pick one at random, and you can use Shift O to reroll that, so maybe you want it to look different and these are the um, configuration options there's not a lot you probably shouldn't change these things so we can safely ignore it um but yeah oh i thought i oh yeah there he is i had a, another lamb ball over here because i was catching a lot of them oh i guess the gems are part of the regular lamb ball i just didn't really notice it until i saw the colored one so yeah, um, this is a recolor mod. It's not adding a lot of extra stuff, but honestly, just having different color pals is cool. And being able to see two of them that are very obviously different is not something you're going to ever see in the base game. So I think it's pretty neat. You could also go a little uh, dirtier and include not safe for work meshes, 
and have them applicable when you want them to be, and you can have a normal game other times. So, however you want to roll. Uh, that is all for now, and uh, we're going to get into the mod you might want that kind of a mesh for next time. <laughs> have a good one.